We are back with Don Pascal. He's in good company with Alex and Jill. You've already won this $10,000 Capital yeah. One check. Yeah, give yourself a round of applause. Eight away from the million. You still have two lifelines left, including yeah. Ask the Expert. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's play. 30 seconds on the clock. Category Tough Crowd. <laughs> Looking at one right here. In 2009, what starlet's debut as an artistic advisor for Angara was savaged Lohan. by fashion Lohan. critics after a show in Paris? Yeah. Lindsay Lohan, Lohan, Anne Hathaway, Jessica Beale, Natalie yeah. Portman. I'm going with the ladies. A, Lindsay Lohan, final answer. Stick with those ladies. You got it. <laughs> kind of an embarrassing moment for her. Yeah. This is for $15,000, States of the Union. For 14 years before it joined the Union in 1791, what U.S. state was an independent republic with its own currency and constitution? Ohio, Maine, Florida, Vermont. Think it through. Okay. Um, I don't think we've gotten that far south or that far west. So I think it's between Maine and Vermont. Okay. Um, oh, boy. With its own currency. currency. Who has it? Who collects currency that we know that... Oh, should we do, do you have a dip? Ten seconds, You need help. You need help. Mm. You need help. You definitely you need help. help. Uh, double dip. Okay. You got two chances here to get it right. First answer, please. Should we start off with Florida or Ohio? Vermont. Go Vermont. Go okay. Vermont. D, Vermont, final answer. Don't be so depressed. It's Vermont. You got it. <laughs> All right, now here you go. Twenty-five thousand dollar question, ladies. Oh my goodness! Canada is the category. What is the only Canadian province to border the Great Lakes? Above Michigan, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec, Alberta. It's not Alberta. It's all the way over. Don't think it's Manitoba. That's above. I think it's Ontario. Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario. There's a lot of 100%. We're not 100%. Okay, let's ask the expert, Mary. Yeah, I don't blame you. With 11 seconds, let's go to Andy Cohen. Andy, a geography question for you. <laughs> Is that a real I, expert? I, yeah, expert. I know how good you are at that. Don't go for $25,000. I'm going to feed you the question now. I think Ontario. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking because there's a lake, Ontario. Province. It's going back and forth between Ontario and Quebec. Quebec. It's, it's not, not Quebec. Quebec. I don't think so. I think it's Ontario, too. I have to say, you have got, Dawn, you have a really smart team you're playing with today. Oh, oh, I sure believe I you. Want to, <laughs> no, I don't want to risk so much. Oh, boy. We're not, sure, um, not sure enough. You're saying Ontario, Andy? Yeah. You all set with Andy? Where's the you? If she misses it. What do you mean? Uh, if you miss it, you do go down to five thousand dollars. You get it right. You're twenty-five thousand. You have eleven seconds to I'm make up your mind. Scenario. Starting now. I, I, I would think that the lake would board. Five seconds, guys. I think I'm gonna walk away. Final, final answer. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, eh, I don't blame. Fifteen thousand yeah, dollars. That's a lot, a of, lot money. of money. Let's see what the answer was. It was, it Ontario. was Ontario, but Don, you didn't want to risk it, and I don't blame I didn't want you. To risk it. Okay. Great. That's how we are out of time. But what a great way to end the show by handing Don Pascal fifteen thousand dollars. Our thanks to all our ladies, Alex, Will, and all the other housewives. That is it for the Real Housewives of Lane and Air. Special thank you to Andy Cohen from New York, everybody. Bye bye for now. and Jill, along with our housewife Dawn Pascal from I Love Hoboken, New Jersey. Nice to see you all. Nice to see you all. How are you feeling, Dawn? Feel good. A little you're, nervous, but you're, good. You're feeling a little nervous? And I'm looking at Alex and I'm wondering, where's, where's your husband? It seems like, you know, that Simon's always attached to the hip, the two of you. Is he here? You know what? No, I looked. We, we got so much for that that now we play into it. So you know what? I brought him. Oh, no, he's right over here. Oh, there he is. He's right behind you. Hey. I love.
Jill, though, Jill immediately answers it like, yeah, he's here, all right. Well, he cannot help you, Dawn. Okay. You are on your own here, baby. Well, you, you have us. these two. Us. That's right. Us. Smart ladies. You guys know the rules. You know the lifelines. Yeah. Dawn, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's play. Okay. First question is valued at $500. The Godfather is ranked number one on the American Film Institute list of the greatest movies in what genre? Gangster, Western, sci-fi, annoyingly overquoted. <laughs> gangster. Can you help with that? A gangster, final answer. <laughs> I don't think she needed any help with that one. In fashion for $1,000. What footwear parts are also common to women's corsets? Soles, heels, laces, tongue. C, laces, final Woo! answer. Oh, is right, you got it. This is for $2,000. What is the three-letter abbreviation commonly used to refer to ABC's long-running morning talk show? SNL, GMA, TMZ, NOW. B, GMA, final answer. Good morning, America. That's it. Okay, you have made it to the Real Housewife question. This one is from Lisa, and it is worth $3,000. Hello, I'm Lisa Wu Hartwell from Bravo's Real Housewives of Atlanta. Here's your question. Though he's now retired, when my husband Ed and I married in 2005, he played for what Atlanta pro sports franchise? Hawks. Thrashers, Braves, Falcons. D, Falcons, final answer. Let's see if you're right. For six seasons, Ed played in the NFL for the Atlanta Falcons. You are correct. Very nice. Thank you very much, Lisa, for that one. Nice to and Jill, you were a little worried. You saw a sports question, but you guys got it. Yeah, I'm a little nervous on the sports question. <laughs> but you did great, going for 5000 which of these luxury brands is represented by a logo featuring a distinctive five-pointed crown? <laughs> Rolex, Hermes, Cartier, Boulevard. I think Rolex. A, Rolex, final answer. It is Rolex. You've got $5,000. Very nice, guys. All right, Dawn. 30 seconds on the clock now. You got a little more time. This one's is for $7,500. Pyrogeography is the study of the distribution and behavior of what natural phenomena? Wildfires, earthquakes, blizzards, floods. A, wildfires, final answer. Sure is. Pyro, fire. Do you all have any pets, any of you? Yes. Yeah, oh, yes. Ginger. Ginger, oh, of course. <laughs> okay. $10,000 question. Oh, On the Real Housewives of New Jersey, what is the name of Dina Manzo's hairless cat who was named after Dina's grandmother? Miss Frisky, Grandma Wrinkle, Sugar Nana, Mama Knuckles. Grandma Wrinkle, is that right? I think it's, I think it's Grandma Wrinkle, but it's, I, you know, I'm not 100%. Mm. And that she was just here. Right. Where is she? I know. <laughs> She's probably still here. Yeah. Uh, I like to use uh, as the audience. Good idea. Okay. I didn't want to. Audience, Dawn needs your help. On your keypads, vote now. Sixty-five oh. percent believe it is Grandma <laughs> Wrinkle. She That's a yeah. good yeah. number. Now. Although you were talking about it, but mm -hmm. that doesn't necessarily mean anything. You have twelve seconds left, Dawn. Starting now. B, Grandma Wrinkle, final answer. Grandma Wrinkle, you got it right. And we will be back with more Real Housewives of Millionaire right after this. It's time to play Millionaire's You're in the Hot Seat Home Game. Look for today's winning answer on your game card. Jay-Z is today's winning answer.